Welcome back everybody. I have another 12 by 12 layout for you, as I usually do. And this time around, the inspiration was provided by the lovely Evelyn Anderson on the Facebook page called Crafty Mirror and Friends. Please go along and check it out. It's a great little group to belong to. And I am using the core products for the month of July from Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft. And I will leave a link to her store in the description box below. My background paper is going to be from Authentic and the paper is called Solitude 4 and it's from the Solitude Collection. I'm now going to be using the paper from Authentic, it's Solitude 6 from the Solitude Collection and I'm just going to cut a 4 inch strip and that's going to go down the left hand side of my layout as per the sketch. I actually follow the sketch quite closely which surprises me because I tend to go up on my own tangent. And the next paper I'm going to use is the Solitude 8 paper and I loved it because to me this paper or the pattern on the paper represented the caves as I was walking through them. I don't know what but it just screamed out caves to me. And I'm going to land up cutting a strip about 8 inches long by 4 inches wide. If you've been following me now for a little while, I guess you know that I like to ink my edges. So I'm going to be using my archival ink and the colour is library green. It is a personal choice. Some people like it, some people don't. I like it, especially when I've got like three different kinds of papers. I just think it adds a bit of a cohesiveness to the layout. I'm going to be adhering my papers down now, but I'm not going to use my ATG gun. I find that I've got more control if I use double-sided tape and I just put my strips down and then I put like little tabs going across so that I can just peel them. I just find I have more control in making sure that the strips are absolutely straight and I don't and I can wiggle it around and then I just tear the strips off and I have my paper in the perfect placement. I'm just going to ink the edges of my third paper and I must admit this layout came together very quickly. It really helps when you're following a sketch. I guess it just takes all that guesswork out. My next step is to look at the sketch again and I'm going to bring my photos in and then see how I'm going to embellish it. And as part of my core products I've got this gorgeous stamp set from Kaiser Craft. It's called Wandering Ivy. And I just love that border stamp. So I'm just going to cover the bits of the stamp that I don't want to use with some washi tape. And then I'm going to use my Tim Holtz uh, stamping platform. I'm going to change my mind about the colour of the cardstock. I don't like it. So what I do is I get out my Distress Oxide. And the colour is Antique Linen. And very quickly I just change the colour to something that's more suited to the layout. I went to all that trouble of putting down the washi tape so that I couldn't, I didn't get part of the stamps that I didn't want and in the end it doesn't land up working for me and I just have to land up stamping the whole stamp out and then just to use my trimmer to cut out the little strip that I do want. So here's the finished product and that's where I want to the strip to go between those papers. So my trimmer's out, I'm going to quickly trim that little slice off that I want. It is such a delicate little piece and then of course I'm going to ink the edges with my library green archival ink. I'm not going to bore you with the inking, I'm just going to cut to the next step. I have applied glue to my little strip and I'm just going to glue it down and I really like the little extra effect that has. It sort of creates like a little border between the between all the papers. I've now decided that I want to map my photos and I want to tie it in with the strip that I just made so I've got out that scrap piece of cardstock and I'm just going to use my antique linen and just ink the whole thing up and I'm going to have the perfect background for matching my photos. Thanks to the magic of editing my photos are all matted and I'm just going to play with the placement once again just following this sketch closely. I've pulled out my next chosen core products and these are the Kaiser Craft Whisper Collectibles. So even though I'm using two different collections, one from Authentique, the Solitude Collection and the Kaiser Craft Collectibles, two different companies, they still work well together. 
So never be afraid to mix your goodies. My original idea was to use a mason jar, just like in the sketch, but when I saw that that palm there, I decided, no, I'm going to go with the palm, because as we were driving to Genovan Caves, we saw these beautiful palms everywhere on the, on the roads and that, so I just thought that was a better representation of what this layout is about. Okay, so I couldn't find a die cut that I actually wanted, so because I had this wonderful stamp, from Kaiser Craft, the one green ivory one that I showed you before. I decided I really liked that saying that said, cherish yesterday, dream tomorrow, and live today. So once again, I got out my Tim Holtz stamping platform. I used some embossing ink, and then I used the gorgeous embossing powder from Ranger. It's called Copper. And I just love the way it looked. Of course, I'm going to ink my edges, going to put the layout back together just as per that sketch. And I start adhering everything down because I just thought I've got the placement right. I'm not really going to change my mind. So I just went with it. I want to take this opportunity to, to thank Evelyn for providing the sketch for me. I really truly appreciate it and for participating in the challenge of providing challenges for me on our Facebook page and I have found that I really enjoy working with sketches it takes a lot of the guesswork out of it for me so I am more productive I still do enjoy the creative side of things where I don't have a sketch and I just work things out for myself but it does take a lot longer and I guess it also helps when you are having that creativity block where you just can't think of anything and it all becomes too hard. Sketches are a great way to move on from that block. And I also found that I struggle with clusters. And this sketch had a little cluster on the top right hand corner and I've just found that that was really good at helping me work through my issues with clusters and hopefully the more I practice clusters, the better I will get at them. Okay, crafty friends, I would really love to know your take on sketches. Do you enjoy these type of videos where someone provides or I take a sketch and I do a video based on that sketch? Or do you prefer videos that have more of a creative process where the creator just goes off the top of their heads or might have some inspiration? Whatever, let me know. From my stash, I've pulled out these two gorgeous washi tapes and I'm just going to put them on the left hand side there of the layout. And I must admit, I love how this layout came together. Thank you all for watching and I would love it if you subscribe to my little channel and hit that bell notification so you will know whenever I upload any new videos. Okay everybody, bye for now and till next time. Take care, bye.